Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate this bike rider animation in After Effects. And we are also going to learn how to animate this smoke animation in the next lesson itself. So stay tuned for that. This is the illustration we are going to use in the lesson. And this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. Okay, now let's jump on to After Effects and let's start with the rigging of the arms and legs. So here, we will be starting with the arm rigging. So select all the illustrator layers of the arm and solo it. Okay, now let's select it and open the transparency and decrease the opacity. Let's decrease it to 50 so that we can see the overlap clearly. Now click on the rigging, turn on the twig bezel, then go to rigging, then create structures and then create arm structure layers. Select the arm structure layer and put it above this illustrator file. And let's reposition the layers exactly in between the overlap. Okay, now let's parent the arm with arm, forearm with forearm, and hand with hand, and then select the arm structure layers and click on links and constraints, click on auto rig. And with this, the arms are rigged. Okay, now select the structure layers, turn off the visibility, turn on shy, and turn on this one and let's unsolo all the layers and let's increase the opacity. Okay, we are going to do the same for the leg as well. So select all the layers of legs. Same thing, we are going to turn on the opacity and let's decrease it by 50% so that we can see the overlap clearly. And this time we are going to create the leg structure layers and select the structure layers and put it above the leg layers and reposition it with thigh above thigh one and this one at this particular overlap and foot on the foot. Okay, now parent thigh with thigh, this one with this structure layer and this one with this one. Let's turn on the visibility by 200% and select the structure layer. Go to links and constraints and click on auto rig to rig the leg. So that is also rigged correctly. Now select all the structure layers, turn off the visibility and turn on shy to hide the layers. Okay, now we're going to select the body layer and move the anchor point over here. After that, we are going to select the shoulder layer and parent it with body and then, okay, so turn on the shy and we also needed to parent the arm structure layer with the shoulder. And we have to parent this thigh structure layer with body. So let's turn it on. Right now, if we move the body, the arm and leg should move together. And now let's select a head, solo it out, move the anchor point and parent it with body. So now we are going to select the coat layer, solo it out and put the anchor point exactly at this point. Then select the coat and parent it with shoulder, parent body layer with seat layer. Then we are going to parent the other parts of the body of this bike with seat, this front bike part with seat, this heat 
pipe also with sit and this soccer will be parented with this soccer handle now let's solo the layer and we are going to move the anchor point of this soccer handle at this particular point now here is this one so we are going to parent this with the bike body bike body with this bike front and this one with sit okay so now let's check out if everything is looking proper so if we move the sit everything is moving together all right so right now we are going to start with the animation of the fill and then we are going to animate the bike and character okay now we are going to jump on to the animation process but before that let's shy out all the layers that are not necessary for animation now select both the wheels open the rotation property by pressing r on the keyboard then i'm going to select one wheel and pick with the rotation with the other one so if i rotate this one the other wheel will rotate together now let's put a keyframe over here and then jump on to six frames and let's give it a rotation of three full rotations so turn on the motion blur and let's check out the animation okay we need to add the loop expression so let's add the loop expression let's slow down the animation a bit okay let's reverse the order of the keyframe okay so the wheels are animated now let's animate the bike's body so i'm going to select the seat open the position property put a keyframe over here and then jump on to next four frames and then pull it down a bit and we are even going to match with this position so that it doesn't look like this After that again jump on to next 4 frames, copy the initial keyframe and paste it over here. So easy is the keyframes, copy the loop expression, press and hold, hold alt and click over here to turn on the expressions panel and paste the expression of the loop expression. So let's check out the animation. Okay. Uh, so we can decrease the positions a bit let's move it upwards a bit and even fix this position so now let's check it out yeah this one is looking better now we are going to select this soccer handles let's open the rotation and put a keyframe over here and at this point we are going to slightly rotate it so that it is near this red mark and after that we are going to again rotate it and this is the keyframe and copy the loop expression and paste it over here let's check out the animation all right okay one more thing we need to parent the this leg plate with the bike body or we can even parent it with sit as well now we are going to animate the body so select the body open the rotation property put a keyframe jump on to next four frames and let's give it a slight rotation of 0.5 degree 
and at this point I'm going to give it a rotation of minus 0.5 degree well uh, let's reverse it and at this point I'm going to copy the initial keyframe and paste it and let's easy is the keyframes and copy the loop expression and paste it over here so let's offset it by one frame let's check out let's offset it by another frame we are going to go with this one so again I'm going to open the position property put a keyframe on the position and at this point as well so at this point I'm going to move the body slightly forward and at this point I'm going to again copy the initial keyframe and paste it over here and easy is the keyframe and copy the loop expression and paste it over here let's check out all right now we are going to copy this rotation keyframes and paste it over here in the head head layer and let's increase the value of the rotation at this point i'm going to give it one at this point we are going to give it minus one and at this point let's give it one again to complete the loop and let's offset it by two frames all right so now we are going to also animate this rod as well because it's looking totally still so i'm going to open the position property put a keyframe now we are going to match the timing with the with the movement of the body of this bike so we are not going to give it an offset at this point i'm going to copy the initial keyframe and paste it this is the keyframes and copy the loop expression and paste it over here let's check out okay now we are going to give some rotation to this code as well so let's select this one open the rotation property put a keyframe now we are going to match it with the timing of the body and also give some offset as well to add some follow through so at this point we are going to rotate it in this direction let's give it a rotation of 8 degree at this point it will be minus 8 degree and at this point it will be this initial keyframe value so let's copy this loop expression and paste it over here so let's check out the animation all right so like this you can animate a bike rider in after effects just within few minutes so do try it on your own and do let me know if you have any doubt regarding the lesson so that is it for this lesson if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates until then goodbye